Hello everyone, this is Roger from Wave Computation Technologies. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the software Wavenology to simulate a scattering problem. Eventually, we're going to simulate the far field and uh, the surface current density of this sphere when a plane wave is hitting from the Z minus direction to Z plus direction. So to begin with, I'll start with a empty project like this. First of all, I need to make sure that uh, the basic input is correct. So I want to select the unit, length unit as meter, then time nanosecond, frequency as gigahertz. Click apply. The background I'll choose as default as air, free space. The boundary I'll leave six walls as open with gap. And the frequency range I just choose 0 0.01 giga to 1 gigahertz. And the mesh density, I want it to be denser, so I choose the point per wavelength as 30. Click Apply. And then for the time window, I choose as default. And for the recording interval for the 2D snapshots, I give it a little bit higher value as 5 to make the animation smoother. OK, click Apply and OK. So next, we draw the sphere. To draw the sphere is quite simple. Just simply click this button right here. Then you will see choose the material. I choose SPUC, perfect electric condu conductor. And the radius, I want it to be 0.5 meter. And click apply. You will see the sphere is right there. Okay. And to um, calculate the, the far field, the scattering problem, we need a plane wave instance on this sphere. So we create source and choose the type as plane wave, E polarized, okay, then I choose the polarization as along the X direction, so I give this vector, and the propagation direction is from Z minus to Z plus, so the theta and phi angle in sphere, spherical coordinate is just zero and zero, and then here's the pulse, I just use default project pulse, the transient signal, and click apply. You will see this is a plane wave indicator. This is E polarized. The propagation direction is the red arrow from Z minus to Z plus. Okay. So next, I want to also define a uh, 3D field observer. Say, for example, the co uh, XYZ coordinate to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Create. And you will see I have a point observer right at a corner outside the sphere. Okay. So next, I need to input what kind of uh, results I want to take a look uh, after this simulation. So the first thing I want to create is a face snapshot. I want it to be a Y face, and then I want the um, the face corner to be minus 0 0.6 meter, 0 and minus 0 0.6 meter, 2, 0 0.6 meter, 0, 0 0.6 meter. And I want to see all the EX, EY, EZ field. So if you click OK and check check where is it is defined, you will see this is how the face cut will be shown. Okay. Next, I want to create a surface current density. So I'll select this surface, the sphere object. And then right click in the menu, there is a create snapshot for electric current on solid. Okay, so select that and you will see this is the name. Click OK. You'll see another one is added. So in order to make a high quality movie or high quality um, uh, image of your snapshot, you can choose the uh, option as mesh. You can see the predefined level to be choose as higher. And then it will have much more denser sampling points on this 2D surface. The same as the um, object surface. So just double click mesh, make it high, click OK. So that's how you change the, the resolution of your movie, of your animation. So the next I want to create a Far field. So you just right click at regular far field monitor 
and then choose your frequency. In this case, I'll just use default value, 0 0.505 gigahertz, and click OK. Right? And you can also, since this is a transient simulation, you can also right-click at wideband RCS monitor. Okay? So you can sub select the uh, at which point to what distance. So for example, this is sphere co coordinate. For example, I want to observe at theta equals zero, phi equals zero, and distance 100 meters away. And click OK. You see the the predefined data. It will be here. And then you can also add uh, other transient parts at different locations. For example, I want theta to be 180, phi equal to zero, and distance 100 meters away as well. Okay, so you can you can keep going on that and define all of this uh, at any location you want to observe, uh, observe the transient far field. Okay, so basically this is uh, how you set up the uh, a very simple uh, scattering problem in the software wave knowledge. The next you just uh, simply click this simulation button and click on it, and it will start to generate data and start to run. Okay. Now, in order to save some time, I've already pre-simulated this, this simulation, and we can directly load the result from here. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look at the uh, for, uh, transient electromagnetic field at the point we define at this corner. Okay. So for example, I want to observe e x, and we will see this is how the transient um, signal at that point of EX field, the X component. The next we can see the surface current. So if we take a look at all of them at one time, it will be loaded like this way. Change the position. I want to show that the, the vector of the current density as well as the um, electromagnetic field. So if I evolve this, You begin to see that okay the field is coming in and the sphere begin to generate a surface current density and then it pass the pulse path through the sphere and this is how the is back reflected okay and you can also view this in the log view which will also show the uh, small values more obvi obviously and you can also hide the um, electromagnetic field vector. You will see the color is more obvious. Okay, this is how it propagates through heating the sphere and being going back for backward scattering as well. Okay, so this is how to see the surface current and as well as the um, snapshot of a at a face cut. So to see the far field, all the result is pre-calculated pre already here. You just right click on the calculated results. This is far field at this frequency. And then click display. And then this is the far field looks like. You have two options to view it in linear scale and also view it in uh, log scale. You can also choose to show the geometry and not showing the geometry. And you can take a look at the every angle as you wish. Okay. So to make it more convenient for you to look at some curves, you can also make some face cuts over here. So if I double click this face cut, you will see this is at a phi equal to zero degree at a theta plane. Theta is from minus 180 degree to 180 degree. And this is the pattern of the far field. Okay. At this frequency. Of course, if you predefine more frequencies, for example, right over here, at more frequency, you can define multiple frequencies through one simulation, and all the results at different frequencies will be um, processed and displayed. Okay, and for the Y band, which means the transient far field, you can just uh, click the E theta transient. This is how it looks like at the um, theta equal to zero, phi equal to n, uh, zero and the distance is 100 meters away. And you can also do, uh, take a look at other places at a different location. This is theta equal to 180 degrees, phi equal to zero. Okay? As well as other, other um, places.
okay you can see all of these transient results 